Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So hari ini kita nak masuk chapter nombor 4 iaitu selection. So basically after recruitment process, kita akan moving on kepada selection process. So the scope of this lecture, selecting capable employees is one of the management top priorities in order to make sound selection decision. So manager must be able to evaluate reliable data from the candidates. So, a properly matching people with the jobs and also the organization is the goal of the selection process. So, the standardized activities practiced consistently is the major factors that affect the selection process. This lesson will describe the general principles of selection, what are the criteria used for selecting the right candidates, as well as what are the activities that should be practiced in the selection process. So, this is our learning objective untuk this chapter. First of all, you need to define what are the uh, selection process ataupun kita kata what are the concept of selection. Next, uh, you shall describe the usage ataupun kita kata the importance of selection, why selection process is very important. Next, you need to identify what are the criteria used in order for the managers also the employer to select the right candidate. Next, you shall describe the activities of selection process. And last but not least, kita akan tengoklah what are the roles of uh, SPA in the selection process. So basically, what does it mean by selection? Selection tu dalam bahasa Melayu dia memilih lah, pemilihan. So selection is a process by, is a process by which an organization chosen from a list of applicants the persons or persons who best meet with the selection criteria. So basically, selection ni adalah pemilihan lah. So macam mana dia memilih? So macam mana human resource memilih? Mereka memilih daripada senarai nama yang telah mereka dapat sewaktu proses recruitment lah. So for the position available, considering the current environmental condition. So you have to choose or select the high quality of the candidate that can serve for the organization. So, for example, uh, organization tu, dia akan panggil 10 orang uh, calon, tapi kemungkinan besar at the end of the day, dia akan pilih 2 orang sahaja. Tak semestinya 10-10 calon tu dapat pekerjaan tu lah ataupun kita kata dapat bekerja dekat dalam organisasi tu. So, selection is the process of choosing from a group of applicants, the individual best suit for a particular position and also organization. Again, perkataan choosing. So, kalau you tengok first point, dia kata apa? Chosen. Second point, choosing. Next, choosing the right person for the right job. So, I dah banyak kali cakap dah. You have to put the right person on the right job provided with the correct tools. This is about human resource management. Last but not least, hire the best employees for your open position. So, what are the rationality of selection? So, kenapa uh, kenapa selection process ni perlu dilakukan? So, basically, selection is an essential activity to make sure that the organization only appoints, ataupun kita kata appoint tu melantik lah, only appoints candidate who actually satisfy a broad range of criteria. So, kalau you ingat lagi kita ada belajar dalam chapter 2, iaitu kita ada job analysis, you need to analyze uh, what are the job and dalam job analysis tu you kena job specification then baru you conduct you punya human resource planning what kind of candidate yang you perlukan uh, kena background apa what are the criteria mungkin perlukan working experience selama 5 tahun so on so forth so that's why selection is uh, being relevant nowadays in order for you to uh, properly appoint a candidate uh, to work into your organisation so actually, uh, how this, uh, how this your potential uh, employer atau kita kata you punya uh, majikan in the future select the candidates again dia akan apa? dia akan cari the candidate who satisfy a broad range of criteria in terms of their ability to make a positive and also ongoing contribution to the organisation. So by having the selection process, the organisation or the company may choose the right person from a list study. Uh, that apply for the job vacancy. So, selection process is actually a process that facilitating the staffing process. So, staffing process tu dalam bahasa Melayu dia kita kata um, sesi mengambil upah orang bekerja. Itu kita kata dengan staffing. So, basically, if employer, majikan ataupun organisasi tu memilih the best and also high quality candidate, 
Therefore, the candidate that have been chosen can be fit in the organization, and uh, at the same time, uh, the candidate they are can give uh, give the best and also can contribute to the organization. Lah, so win win situation. Next, moving on, kita akan tengok what are the importance of recruitment. So again, number satu adalah staffing lah. Staffing tu kita kata uh, macam mana you menguruskan uh, pengambilan orang baru. Kalau dalam HR tu kita panggil onboarding. You membawa orang baru masuk ke dalam you punya organisasi untuk bekerja lah. So staffing is a selection process to make sure the right candidates that has been employed yang uh, selalu yang diambil kerja itu for the right job by reducing the numbers of obviously underqualified and also overqualified staff. So again, selection tu tadi kita kata kita panggil lah 10 orang calon. So dalam 10 orang calon tu mungkin dia fulfill all the criteria. For example, dia fulfill diploma level, uh, dia ada working experience, so on and so forth. Tapi bila interview, uh, ada banyak flaws. Maksudnya dari 10 orang tu, Mungkin dua orang sahaja yang fluent speaking, for example. So, itu kita kata dengan you reducing the numbers of the candidates during the selection process. And obviously, underqualified and also overqualified ni kita tengoklah dalam dia punya resume. Waktu you hantar you punya application, you dah tengokkan what are the job specification that has been stated in the uh, work advertisement tu. Kalau dia kata dia nak minta uh, dia nak minta diploma level, so kalau you mempunyai diploma, you apply kemungkinan besar you akan dipanggil untuk interview. Untuk under qualified ni, for example, macam you tahu you tak ada diploma, tapi you ada working experience. Uh, so, itu kita katakan Mungkin ada sesetengah company dia akan consider kan lah sebab most of the company they value working experience rather than you punya educational background. And then for another example untuk ada qualified ni for example you tahu you punya uh, you tahu you punya background adalah for example eh, human resource. Tapi you apply pekerjaan yang berkaitan dengan accounting which is memang sangat jauh dengan you punya bidang. Therefore you consider as under qualified candidates. Untuk overqualified candidate ni pula, ataupun kita kata overqualified staff ni, dia punya qualification dia sangat tinggi. For example, macam you mempunyai degree tapi you apply pekerjaan yang maximum requirement dia adalah diploma level. So, which is not suit to you. Sebab bila majika dia tengok you punya kelayakan tu sangat tinggi, dia ada satu orang kata apa, ada satu persepsi Uh, persepsi di mana uh, kalau you mempunyai kelayakan lagi uh, bidang pendidikan yang lagi tinggi so gaji you pun mesti you akan demand tinggi so kita tak nak benda tu berlaku that's why selection process is very important so the right person will fit to the job will be effectively contribute to the significant attainment of organizational goals again macam saya cakap uh, if you put the right person on the right job provided with the correct tools definitely at the end of the day Kerja yang sepatutnya disiapkan tu akan disiapkan lah. So, maksudnya tak sia-sia pun uh, company tu ataupun uh, majikan tu ambil you bekerja lagi satu sebab you ada that expertise, you ada that knowledge. Maksudnya you punya educational background tak lari daripada you punya uh, job scope tu. So, perkataan job scope, job specification, job analysis ni kita dah sentuh dalam chapter 2. So, I hope you can recall balik lah. Next, second, uh, importance of recruitment, uh, sorry, importance of, uh, sorry, yes, selection eh. Dalam slide ni salah eh, the importance of selection, not importance of recruitment, pardon. So, second, uh, importance of selection is performance slash productivity. By having a good selection process, definitely will improve the productivity of the organization by making the right selection of high quality employees working in the organization. So, Uh, because the candidates have the knowledge and also the capability to do such job. Therefore, this candidate that has been selected able to perform the job very well. So, tak buang masa kepada organisasi untuk cari orang lain. And then at the, at, uh, at the same time, uh, pekerja tu sendiri, dia boleh adapt dengan environment organisasi tu. Maksudnya, dia tak kacau shock lah. Dia study pasal uh, organisasi tu, apa dia punya culture, what kind of uh, working style that they have, professional ke, kurang professional ke. Uh, so, itu kita kata dengan performance, productivity. Sometimes, your working environment does affect you punya working performance. 
Sebab bila kita bekerja nanti kita takkan kerja seorang-seorang eh. Kita akan bekerja as a team. So during this selection process lah, you punya potential ataupun kita kata future employer ni, dia akan tengok macam mana you membawa diri you, how you carry yourself, uh, 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 how you carry yourself we uh, during your uh, during your working time in the organisation. That's why job uh, specification you perlu nyatakan specifically. Contoh kalau you nak uh, pekerjaan tu, uh, job tadi tu, job yang vacancy tadi, memerlukan pemegang diploma, CG diploma, maka you letaklah CG diploma. So, again, one day if you bekerja dekat bahagian human resource department, you need to make sure that you conduct the job analysis accurately. Ah, uh, You perlu kena tahulah, macam saya cakap lah kan, job analysis tu apa? You menganalisa sesebuah pekerjaan tu, sesuatu pekerjaan tu. Pekerjaan tu bentuk dia macam mana, saiz dia macam mana, apakah dia punya capacity, what kind of people that should uh, this uh, should HR uh, recruit uh, in order for them to fill up the vacancy, so on and so forth. Next, dia kata apa? Next, the importance of selection is that to recruit and also hire people is very costly. So, again, kita perlukan, kita perlu melakukan selection process ni dengan tepat, dengan orang kata dengan kualiti supaya tidaklah membaza sekala kos-kos yang telah dikeluarkan oleh majikan ataupun kita kata dikeluarkan oleh company tu sendirilah sebab again dalam chapter 3 recruitment saya dah cakap dah bila you nak buat yang nak guna apa nak keluarkan iklan kerja kosong jawatan kosong you nak panggil orang interview apa semua dia makan banyak masa dan juga duit cost tu perlu cost tu perlu dikeluarkan lah therefore a proper selection must be done to make sure that the only right and so selected candidate shall be hired to work with the organization so itulah kita kata dengan uh, selection uh, the importance of selection moving on dia kata tu apa dia kata to avoid any legal implications to the company so again during the selection process you sebagai human resource department you tak boleh blindly ataupun kita kata tak boleh tutup sebelah mata waktu you nak select the candidates sebab kadang-kadang a -kadang, uh, Candidates ni rupanya dia adalah illegal workers. Ah, Rupanya you tak tahu pun dia ni tak ada visa, tak ada work permit for example lah kalau you uh, try to uh, recruit a foreign workers one day lah. And then you kena tahu juga sometimes uh, ada orang terlepas pandang dia ter terambil budak bawah umur bekerja. So kita tak nak benda-benda tu berlaku sebab dia melanggar uh, akta buruh lah. Dia melanggar Employment Act. So again, last list dia kata kat situ, it determine the productivity, profitability and also stability of the organization by making the hiring decision. So again, macam saya cakap, bila you select the correct candidates, you letak the correct candidates within the correct jobs, provide then you provide the correct tools untuk dia buat untuk dia buat kerja tu, maka secara tak langsung the productivity pun increase, dia pun boleh menyumbang contribution in terms of profit kepada organisation and also stability of the organisation. So basically it's win-win situation for both parties lah. Uh, baik daripada candidates punya start as well as your punya potential uh, employer, majikan. So kita moving on. So selection decision criteria. So kita akan tengok what kind of criteria uh, that uh, human resource department sebagai wakil daripada organisasi punya uh, potential uh, majikan. So, the criteria basically used by the organisation for the making selection decision. So, uh, di bawah ini ada 1, 2, 3, 4. Ini adalah kriteria-kriteria yang mereka akan tengok lah. So, first sekali you punya formal education. So, again, formal education daripada SPM, diploma, degree, so on and so forth. So, to screen the ability by using educational uh, accomplishment of qualification. So, for example, macam kita lah lepas kita habis belajar, graduan-graduan uh, ni, dia akan tunjuk dia punya formal education, diploma in apa. Contoh, diploma in public administration. So, you akan letak dalam resume you, you punya CGPA berapa. 
Next, experience and also past performance. So this is for those uh, uh for those who uh, have working experience. Tak kisahlah you pernah working experience part time ke, you boleh letak juga. And then for those yang uh, experienced workers ataupun kita kata experienced employee, if they want to uh, change, uh, kata apa, to change uh, job, uh, so dia boleh letaklah dia punya experience and also past performance. So kat situ you boleh, uh, itu you boleh letak dalam resume you at the same time uh, during selection process, so human resource department uh, slash majikan akan tengok lah, oh dia ni ada experience so on so forth. Lagi bagus kalau you punya experience tu related dengan uh, job vacancy tu. Dia lagi kuatkan, uh, orang kata apa, dia lagi kuatkan proses selection tu. Maksudnya, nak shortlisted candidates tu, uh, lagi mudah lah. Next, you punya physical characteristics. So, physical characteristics ni, certain macam company macam top glove eh. Top glove dia sangat, orang kata apa, dia mementingkan keterampilan ataupun kita kata uh, physical feature uh, untuk pekerja-pekerja dia sebab dia tak nak pekerja-pekerja dia uh, malas lepas tu bila malas uh, susah lah nak buat kerja buat kerja pun lambat-lambat-lambat so tak semua company eh, dia mem- mem- orang kata apa dia mementingkan physical characteristic uh, ada certain-certain company sebab culture dia macam tu so physical characteristic contoh macam saya bagi untuk penjawab awak macam polis bomber askar uh, dia orang ada physical test sebab apa? Sebab pekerjaan mereka memerlukan, orang kata apa, memerlukan uh, physical punya ability. Uh, kebolehan physical yang sangat penting lah. Last but not least, personal characteristic and also personality, personality part. So, ini very important. That's why lah during interview, nanti you akan introduce yourself. So, nanti panel ataupun kita kata panel of interviewers, dia akan tengok macam mana you bercakap. How the way you talk, how the way you sit, how the way you, um, your, your, apa, proper attire, semua dia akan tengok. Sebab, uh, you punya personal characteristic tu secara tak, secara tak langsung melambangkan you punya identity. So, kalau dia tengok macam you interview kan, dia tanya you jawab elok-elok, you sangat sociable, you sangat peramah, and then at the same time, mungkin you uh, have a good response with the interviewer, so dia rasa macam, oh, uh, this candidate uh, sangat fluent, boleh bercakap, uh, mungkin uh, she can uh, she can work in uh, in a team very well. So, you ada cooperation. So, daripada situ lah interviewers, dia akan tengok you punya personality. Sebab kadang-kadang, uh, bila you bekerja, you bukan buat kerja you sahaja. Eh. You akan bekerja dalam satu kumpulan. So, dalam satu kumpulan tu, semua orang mempunyai perangai yang berbeza-beza, pendapat yang berbeza-beza. So, during the interview session tu lah, yang uh, majikan you, HR ni ataupun kita kata recruiter ni akan bagilah you case study and then you akan respond to their question. So, itu kita kata dengan criteria-criteria uh, in the selection process.